Hi guys, here with my Tesla V2 and I have another tire issue to deal with. But before I continue, I want to remind you guys that for my longer videos, I try and put a time index down below in the, in the description to the video. And this allows you to easily jump around to the parts of the video that you like. Uh, so no more complaints about my long videos. On my last Tesla V2 video that I had, I believe I was talking about fixing a uh, flat and um, having another flat this time. It's uh, this time it's in the valve stem. Another flat I was able to patch, but and I think this is my fault when I installed the tube last time. I don't think I lined up the valve stem perfectly with the hole. So as I was riding the wheel, it was uh, probably pulling on the stem a lot and it finally gave way. Since I'm going to have to remove the tire to replace the tube, I thought, why not, uh, why not change the, the tire? And this is what I'm going to be going with, an Enduro tire. Now I got turned on to this by uh, watching a video on the EUC Chronicles channel and uh, by Flip. Hey Flip, thanks again for turning me on to this uh, tire. Uh, I watched him. Uh, talk about this tire that he installed on, on his V2 and it was working great and uh, I'm not a big experimenter with tires Particularly if I don't know if it's gonna fit <laughs> basically I don't because uh, Changing tires is not the funnest of experiences So if I know a tire actually does fit and looks cool, um, I'm up for uh, trying it. I Bought this from Amazon. There'll be a link below uh, where you can get this. It was about 35 bucks. I'm going to use the uh, standard two and an eighth inch tube that works with uh, this wheel. It should work fine fine for this guy. This is a 2.4 inch uh, tire. Now back in the day uh, all EUCs had a 2.125 tire, two and an eighth inch tire. Uh, that was the standard. Now I remember the uh, when the M Super V3 series first was announced and when it came out, and I, I bought the first that first model. It was so exciting to get that wheel because it had a two and a half inch tire, which wow, it seemed massive <laughs> compared to uh, what we had before. And of course, now the standard is uh, the three inch tire. Uh, for good reason. I, I just love all of the, the wheels with the three inch tires now. Absolutely the standard. So obviously this is not a three inch tire, but it gets pretty close to that two and a half inch tire. And uh, I'm uh, really excited to give this a try. I wanted to show you this typical knobby tire that I installed on my uh, one of my ACMs that I've dedicated for trail riding. Actually, as I look at it, I can see it's uh, the tread's kind of getting a little, little bare now. But um, I've had great fun on this. But it's these knobby, strict knobby tires are really best for trails and not, not the greatest for street riding. And comparison here is the tire that I'm going to be putting on the Tesla. It might even fit on the ACM. But uh, yeah, this will be going on the Tesla anyway. And you can see that the uh, tread is much more dense than this guy. It's, I think it's got certainly better traction on the outside edges. It really reminds me of the tire that's on the, the Sherman, which I absolutely love. So I'm really looking forward to getting this on the Tesla. In addition to replacing the tube, changing the tire, I'm also going to take this opportunity to install spiked pedals on the Tesla. Now I'm going to uh, design and build my own spike pedals. I'm not going to show that in this video. Uh, I have a related video of where I uh, built my own spike pedals for the S18. So there will be a link down in the description to that video and up here I think there will be a link if you want to check that out. Now there are two different approaches to replacing or changing a tire on a Tesla and actually on just about all the wheels. But particularly the Tesla, I want to take advantage of this. Most of you guys like to remove 
the motor from the shell and work on it separately, which is fine. But from my experience, that takes a lot more disassembly uh, to get the wheel out, the motor out. And certainly you have to, to disconnect the electrical connections to the wheel. Approach I like to take, which I learned on, and, and again, in my experience is uh, less of a destructive process to do, is I separate the shells and the motor is uh, left connected to the shell. And by doing that, I don't have to remove any electrical connections from the control board. And I don't have to uh, remove quite as many screws to uh, do that. So that's the process I will be following in this video. I've already removed the front and back uh, plastic pieces. Uh, before I decided to make this video. Uh, remove the pedals first. They should come off easy. The two uh, set screws and hopefully your pedal rod is not bent. side holding the battery batteries in needs to be removed and there are four screws here here one there and one here I should say it's important to do it in um, do it on the right side of the wheel first everything I'm doing here is on the right side first and uh, you'll see why that's important in a little bit. This is the side that when you open it up has the motor wires coming out of the motor. You do not have to touch these six bolts for this uh, pedal hanger. Now while you have it open, you can't hurt to see if they've loosened up. Uh, in my case, they haven't budged at all. You need to remove five screws on this side of the shell. And then we're, we're done with this part of the, part of the process. So. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Last one is down here. That's if that one didn't exist, we wouldn't have, have we wouldn't have to open this side of the shell at, at all. And that's it. I'm going to put a piece of tape over here and then uh, put the cover back on so I can flip it over and work on the other side.
All the screws have been removed. Pedal hanger screws on this side have been removed. But the one screw I can't get to is right under the trolley handle. So we have to manipulate the trolley handle a bit to get to that. Also note that um, I didn't have to remove the ring lights on either side of the wheel or this bottom panel which you do have to do if you want to remove the motor to do what I'm doing. Okay. Now on my I have this extended battery pack which I believe the stock Tesla does not. So you don't have to do what I'm, you shouldn't have to do what I'm doing that is moving the battery pack. For your Tesla. So all we need to do is just extend it out the back and then get access to that hole. Undone. Put a piece of tape here just so it won't come out on me. Now at this point, I can open this part of the shell and you can see I can get to the tire now to do the work on it. Now I should mention that there is a piece, if you haven't done this before, which I have done before, there's a piece of duct tape that uh, Gatway puts on the shell right around here. And uh, you're just going to have to muscle this shell half off to break away from that duct tape. Uh, I don't can't think of an easy way to to um, to do to get that duct tape out of the way. But at this point, I can just leave this like this, and I can work on the tire, which is what I'm going to do now to remove it.
Last time you saw me, I had just removed this tire from the rim. And uh, after that, of course, I removed the entire tire, uh, switched out the tube, and um, installed the new tire. Put everything back together. I really didn't uh, bother recording that because uh, there's really nothing unusual in once you get to the point where you, I took everything apart, it's pretty easy from there on out. Uh, but I did want to mention that this tire, it, it's a tight fit. It just fits. And uh, I was getting some rubbing. And later I determined that there was a slight bulge in the tire in this area. And that was because I had not, had not perfectly aligned the valve with the, with the hole. So I let out all the air, uh, slid the tire over an uh, eighth of an inch, and uh, this lined up perfectly, and I could tell this the valve stem came out even better. And uh, pumped it back up, it's about 40 PSI, and it rides, it uh, runs great now. There's ever so slight amount of rubbing here and there. I think that'll That'll just uh, wear away after I ride the wheel for some miles. Now I do want to comment on what was causing the problem with this old inner tube. Now I thought it was here because all the air would be leaking out of this area in the tube. But when I opened it up, I uh, saw that my patch was not a good patch. I mean, I, I basically screwed up. Looks like uh, I didn't put enough adhesive in this area. And uh, so the air was f coming out of here along with a little bit of slime. And um, of course, there was no puncture in the tire. So all the air that was escaping here was uh, coming out of the hole in the rim right around here. So that's what made me think I'd um, broken this. So I did put my new tube in, and I'm not going to throw this tube away. I'm just going to cut this part away, and I'm going to put a new patch on top of here. I've actually uh, I have double patched a tire before, and I've ridden uh, that on that wheel. It hasn't failed me since. So you you can definitely patch on top of patches, but uh, for now I'll keep this tube as a spare. The last thing to install on this wheel the pedals and like I mentioned before I was going to make and I did make some spiked pedal inserts for this guy and I'll put a link here for a video if you want to see how I make these uh, these spiked pedal inserts and uh, came out great so time to install it and then I will be able to go for a test ride on this wheel
Well guys, hope you can hear that tire sound. <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's kind of fun to have a wheel that, uh, you know, if you have a, a Sherman, by the way, it will obviously remind you of that. Uh, so it's, it's fun. Look, I don't really live in a climate where I need an enduro tire, but I think it's, it's a fun option to have. Uh, particularly for trail riding. I haven't taken up in the mountains yet, but um, I'm not sure how much trail riding I might do with this. But if nothing else, I like the, I like the sound of it. It's got a great sound, and uh, it rides nice. I like it. So, you know, I'm not a tire aficionado. Don't usually change tires on my wheels, but, uh, you know, I've done it a few times particularly when someone else has already done the hard work of validating that, uh, that the tire works. <laughs> so um, that's it, a success. And the pedals, of course, feel great. My feet are locked in. So again, call out to uh, Flip. Thanks for turning me on to, these, uh, to this tire. There'll be a link in the description to Flip's channel. And, uh, and a video on how I made pedals like this, and a link to uh, where I bought the tire if you want to do the same thing. All right, guys, enjoy your riding. Talk to you later.